Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to discuss the dumbbell lateral raise. Let's go ahead and dig into the setup. So, with Sue, the first thing that she's going to do to get set up is hinge at the hips. And then once she is going to be moving the arms, we're going to want her to move in the scapular plane. I know that is a really nerdy term, so let's go ahead and break it down and make it as simple as possible. If we go ahead and rotate Sue, this is going to be raising the arm just directly out to her side, and this is going to be raising her arm directly out in front of her. And you can do this at home. What we wanna do is actually find that middle position between those two places, and this is going to be the scapular plane. So as Sue is set up here, she's going to be maneuvering in that scapular plane to create the most tension possible through the medial delt. And so from this positioning, what Sue is going to do is simply as she gets started, we'll drive the arms out in a fashion that is going to be acceleratory. And so what I mean by acceleratory is that if the individual who is performing the movement, being Sue, starts a very <laughs> viciously and aggressively <laughs> flying with the dumbbells, she will be in a position where her traps are going to be taking over. By starting in an, a slow pace and beginning to accelerate, what's going to happen is that the medial delts will move into a more biased position and the medial delts will be doing a majority of the work. So we'll be able to see more delt gains as a whole. So Sue is going to go ahead and grab the dumbbells and showcase some of these repetitions for you with actual weight. These are the common mistakes that we see within this movement. The first one is going to be hand positioning. The individual is going to be leading with their thumbs and putting their anterior delt as in the position where it's working the most, as well as putting their rotator cuff in a very compromised position. What we want to do is having the top of your hand facing the ceiling so that the medial delt can be biased. The second mistake is going to be generating far too much momentum out of the bottom position. I had to get out of the way for that one. What this is going to do is going to cause the traps to take a majority of the load. And once it's already initiated and created that momentum, the medial delt is not going to be doing a whole lot of work. The third mistake is going to be pulling back rather than pushing outward with the hands. By doing this, this again is going to be a lot of traps as well as not really targeting your medial delt. And by pushing outward allows for us to bias the medial delt. The fourth and final mistake that we commonly see is going to be bringing the dumbbells out in front of you and feeling as though that they have to touch with every single repetition. We want to keep the dumbbells closer to our sides and they don't have to come out in front of us so that we maintain tension on the medial delt throughout the entirety of the movement. And that is the dumbbell lateral raise. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, definitely give it a thumbs up. But if you wanna get some more information, check us out on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and we also have our website, physiquedevelopment.com.